Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Celta Vigo are suffering right now from a consistency they could well do without. Rather unwelcomely, they are consistently winless. Well, if ever a win was needed, Peter, then they'd obviously like it to be here. However, there's no need for them to get over-anxious about their current run. They have to retain a composure about their work and get back to what they're good at. Should they rekindle a, a full commitment from every individual, if they don't win this one, they could well win the next. Gets up to head it! Celta Vigo. Oh, Alaba has given away a free kick. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Messi. Barcelona were imperious when the two sides last met. The fans are... Cristiano Ronaldo! And he's done it! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Barcelona ahead, one goal to the good. Tries to switch the play. And the through ball is intercepted. Chance to break. Well positioned to make that interception. Denis Suarez. And helps available out wide. Well, Red, he sorted that out. He can get that clear. Oh, real danger here. Messi. Defenders on the back foot. And De Bruyne! Great effort, but no way through. Celta Vigo have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, this is gone, that's a foul. Cristiano Ronaldo. De Bruyne provides an outlet. Going through. Has a hit! A potential goal of the season contender, if only. De Bruyne just might have got a little ahead of himself then. Great leap! Goal! And this is getting better and better. 
No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Things starting to look very comfortable. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Oh, that is asking for trouble. He's left his man. It's come... Goes for goal! They are rampant! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Alaba. Barcelona have hit a quick-fire double here. And it's Alaba. Keeper's done just about enough. Barcelona know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. Up to meet it! He's kept it out just. PK. De Bruyne has the best dribbling stats in the team. Alexander Arnold. Alaba, Messi. Oh, some tackle that. And De Bruyne! Great strike. That's for the keeper. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Hoists it forward. Forward it goes. That is as far as they're going to go. Alexander Arnold. De Bruyne. Neymar. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi. Melito tries to get it forward quickly. Santi Mina gets it back. It'll be a throw in. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And here's Molito. And the first half is done. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes. But one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Barcelona have established themselves in a position of absolute supremacy. An action-packed 45 minutes, and they have raced... Shapes to shoot! And they've been caught out here. He's gone for it! It's there! It is no contest! It is a landslide! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. 
Lolito gets wrestled off the ball. De Bruyne gets it back. Hit long and direct. And that's been levered clear. Lolito just brushed off the ball there. And it's played forward. He's got the ball. Asmas! Really well taken goal. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where. He didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Celta Vigo grab a goal, but it's hard to see it as anything much more than a consolation. De Bruyne is demonstrably the team's best dribbler. And here's Neymar. Tries to get it forward quickly. What an adventurous run from a defender. Santimina. Forward it goes. A real chance to break. Questions were asked. But he's given the answers. That has put a stop to that. And it's Messi. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got through. Cut out in the nick of time. Danger averted for now. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. That's a promising ball. That intervention was very necessary. Gets good distance on it. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Alaban is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Well, I think the referee would have told him to raid it in or, or suffer the consequences. <laughs> Griezmann. Coutinho, good clearance and very necessary. Barcelona have it back and they can go again. Van Dijk, Alexander-Arnold, Philippe Coutinho, into the last quarter of an hour. Chance! Iago Aspas battles to win it back. Could move up a gear here. He's found his man. Back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that play. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Celta Vigo making consecutive changes here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. So is this the start of a comeback? Barcelona are hit late on yet again. You've almost come to expect it. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Your Kushlu. 
sell to Vico to retain the ball, but oh, seemingly in no rush to break forward. And that's been one straight back. Nicely measured pass. Now it's Aspas. Aspas. It's a loose ball. Whipped in. Celta Vigo are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through, wonderful passing and movement, and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. The second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Celta Vigo give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Coutinho, shot a goal! I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. And it's played forward. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. And that's it. Barcelona have held on, a knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads.